In today's video, I'll answer your question, are the Ten Commandments repeated in the New Testament? Then afterward, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Nine of the Ten Commandments, found in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17, are repeated in the New Testament numerous times in different ways. For example, in giving a summary of our more responsibilities to one another, Jesus repeats four of the Ten Commandments to the young ruler in Mark chapter 10, verses 17 through 19. The only commandment not repeated in the New Testament is the fourth one, the one about Sabbath keeping. Paul references the Decalogue a number of times in his epistles. Sometimes he is explicit in reciting some of the commandments, as he does in Romans chapter 13, verse 9. Other times he references them implicitly, like in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 8 through 10. But we know that the law is good if one uses it lawfully, realizing the fact that law is not made for a righteous person, but for those who are lawless and rebellious, for the ungodly and sinners, for the unholy and profane, for those who kill their fathers or mothers, for murderers and immoral men and homosexuals and kidnappers and liars and perjurers and whatever else is contrary to sound teaching. Here are the Ten Commandments and where they are found in the New Testament. 1. Do not worship any other gods, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6, and 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. 2. Do not make idols, 1 John chapter 5, verse 21. 3. Do not misuse the name of the Lord, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 1. 4. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. There are many references to the Sabbath day in the New Testament, including the assumption that Jews under the law in the time of Christ would be observing the Sabbath. But there is no direct or indirect command for believers in the church age to observe the Sabbath as a day of rest or of worship. In fact, Colossians chapter 2, verse 16 releases a believer from the Sabbath rule. Jesus, the Lord of the Sabbath, has become for us our Sabbath rest, according to Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. 5. Honor your father and your mother. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. 6. Do not murder. Romans chapter 13, verse 9, and 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 15. 7. Do not commit adultery. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 10. 8. Do not steal. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28. 9. Do not give false testimony. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. And 10. Do not covet. Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. The Ten Commandments help unbelievers in any age to recognize their imperfections. Because it summarizes the moral content of God's law, the Decalogue can be used as a mirror to show people their sin. The commandments reflect the unchanging character of God, so they, like God, are eternal, timeless, universally applicable, and immutable. Some Christians believe the Ten Commandments are not binding upon believers today. For example, in his book, Irresistible, Reclaiming the New That Jesus Unleashed for the World, Andy Stanley says the Ten Commandments have no authority over you. None. To be clear, thou shalt not obey the Ten Commandments. Page 136. Such thinking is likely not caused by an antinomian mindset but instead stems from the principle that Christians are not under the law, but under grace. Romans chapter 6, verse 14. While it is true that Christ fulfilled the law on our behalf, see Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, the New Testament is clear that believers should not violate God's moral law because of their standing in grace. Romans chapter 6, verse 15. New Testament believers are freed from the bondage of sin, which allows them to freely live out the Ten Commandments, summarized by Christ, this way. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend the whole law and the prophets. Matthew chapter 22, verse 36 through 40. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or for interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.